afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for being here live at Kensington Place at Redwood City. My name is Tony. I'm the Dining Service Director for Kensington Place. And today, uh, we are going to be making a very special, delicious dish uh, that all of our residents enjoy. Um, and today, to assist me with that is our very talented Laura. And she can uh, tell you guys a little bit about her background. Hello, my name is uh, Laura Avalos, and I'm the business office manager here at Kensington Place in Redwood City. And I'm also a bit of a celebrity. I've been the uh, Iron Chef uh, winner two years in a row, Tony. Two years. Not one, but two. <laughs> That's right, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Um, so today, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to do a live exhibition cooking. Uh, and the dish that we're going to be preparing is uh, chicken piccata. It's also one of my favorites and also uh, all of our residents' favorites here. So we're going to get started. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, my pan started right now and we're going to start the heating process. And uh, what I'm going to do is I got this pan right here. I'm going to add some oil in it, some olive oil, and let it heat up. In the meantime, uh, what I got here is uh, I got two uh, five ounce chicken breasts and um, clean them, debone them, take the skin out of it um, and get it ready. So some people like their chicken breasts a little flat to about a half an inch to even a quarter of an inch. Um, how I like mine is about half of an inch to about three quarter of an inch thick. So it just really depending on your preference and how you really like it. Um, so like I said, this is about, uh, about half an inch thick nice and clean already. So as you can see, I got two of them here. It's about five ounces. And I got the pan going right here. It's heating up because you want a nice uh, high temperature when you sear the chicken breast. So what we're gonna do is I also got some flour here. And what we're gonna do is I got an egg as well. And we're gonna get started by cracking this egg into this pan and put the chicken breast in there and just get the eggs in the chicken and just soak as much as you can. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this flour into a nice mixture. Uh, I got some regular flour here. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of our garlic powder. Little black pepper. And a little bit of paprika for color. Okay, so once I got that mixture going, I'm gonna turn this heat back down a little bit to about medium. And then I got this chicken breast, mix this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna flour both sides of this. And just make sure that you want it to kinda of shake off the excess flour. You don't want it to be too thick. Uh, the coating should be a little bit thin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in right now. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other chicken breast that I have. Flour both sides, shake off the excess. And as you can see, we want a nice golden uh, brown color on both sides. So usually about maybe a minute on each side. And just be careful, you don't want to burn it. Uh, you just want it to cook it at the right temperature where it's going to be, um, you know, kind of slowly cooking it, but give you that nice golden color on both sides. So I got it to about medium heat right now. So sometimes you might have to adjust it to a little bit lower. So after this cook for about a minute on one side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. And cook the other side for about a minute. And I'm going to add just a little bit more oil so that it can give me that nice golden color. So as you can see, it's doing really well. And you can smell the flavor that's going to be coming out of it just by the simple ingredients that we put in so far. Very simple dish, one of my favorites, and also when I introduce it to the residents here, um, everybody seems to enjoy it very well. So 
a lot of people tend to ask me, you know, is, is there's a lot of steps making chicken piccata or, you know, is it very difficult to make? And it's actually not, it's not that difficult to make. Um, very simple, um, but, you know, there's never a really a right or wrong way of making this. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's one of the simple dishes that we can make, but it's really tasty, very delicious. So after I got the chicken going right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the heat on it because as you can see, I'm going to flip this and I can show you the other side. So that's kind of like the color, the golden color where it's kind of nicely seared on both sides. I'm going to flip it one more time back to the original just because I got the color on both sides I really wanted already. So at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fresh chopped garlic to this. So I'm going to just got some fresh chopped garlic and just add it in there. Just about three cloves. All right, so we're going to let that go and then I'm going to add some chicken sauce to this. Just about a cup and a half. And then once I do that, uh, I'm going to add the capers. So this is the caper. I'm going to do about two tablespoons of it. I love capers. So we're going to make sure that it has enough of it in there. You can never go wrong with capers. Then I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon that I sliced. And then I usually just throw it in. I'm going to do about half of a lemon. You can add a little bit more if you like, but the caper, between the capers and the lemon wedge, it should be enough for it. Uh, after that, I'm going to also add some butter. About two tablespoons of butter in here. All right. And then the final thing what we're gonna add in here is we're gonna add a little bit of wine. You could do a variety of different wines, but I like to put a little white wine in there. All right. All right, now I'm gonna bring the heat back up a little bit. And now we just kind of let it cook for about a good five minute, a six minute, uh, and just kind of let it slowly simmer and let it cook for a little bit. And let all the flavor kind of incorporate in there. So while the chicken's going right now, Laura's gonna get started with sauteing some of the asparagus. Uh, and she's gonna explain how she's gonna prep them and how she's gonna cook them. And then after that, she's gonna uh, let the asparagus cook for a little bit for a few minutes, but during that time, she's also going to be making the other side dish, which is the garlic mashed potato. So she, Laura, go for it. So we have, let me get this going. So we need a bunch of assistance. So we have some fresh asparagus. Um, we're just gonna cut off the bottom because that's really tough. You don't wanna eat that. And we're gonna add a little bit of garlic as well just to give it some flavor. You can slice the garlic. It doesn't have to be small, smaller slices. And Tony has already added a little bit of the oil. So I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. Then I'm gonna start adding my asparagus. I'm also gonna add a little bit of pepper. Some salt. Turn it down a little bit. Add a few salt. 
And we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock just so that the vegetables are a little tender. And we're going to add our garlic. Give it a good mix. I love garlic, Laura. What do you do? You like garlic? My favorite combination is garlic, olive oil, and onion. Wow. So yes. Yeah. And we're gonna cover these for a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start um, on the mashed potatoes. And we have already pre uh, cooked the potatoes. We just peel them, dice them, cook them in water with a little bit of salt. We drain the liquids, and now we're gonna mash these up. And to the mashed potatoes, we're going to add some pepper. But just a pinch. Pinch of salt or to your desire. I'm going to add some butter, about two tablespoons of butter. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and start incorporating everything in here. We're also going to add a little bit of um, half and half. This just makes the mashed potatoes a little creamier. Thank you, Tony. You could add more, you could add less. It's just up to your liking. We like some creamy, correct, Tony? Yep, I like my mashed potato nice and creamy. I like a lot of different flavors in it. That's why I call it mashed potato. Always, always works very well. Um, I don't know, garlic just tends to go well with everything. Some people don't like it, but you still got a good chunk of people out there that really enjoy garlic. Um, so, I don't know, just my preference as a cook. I'm gonna check on my asparagus because we don't want them to burn. That looks really good. Just for a little simple saute on the vegetable like this with the garlic. Very simple. Tastes really good, smells really good, and it looks really good. Seems gonna go very well with what we're gonna be serving. Gonna turn it down yes. a little bit. Just continue to work on my potatoes. So as Laura is working on the mashed potato, uh, fluffing it up, making it more smoother. Uh, the chicken is about 80% done right now. Um, just kind of look at it, um, the, the entire color of it, the textures of it. I mean, it's really kind of coming along right now. Um, you see the capers, the capers are releasing all the nice flavor into it, this dish. Um, the sauce is also one of my favorites and I can just drink the sauce. Um, you know, with some fresh lemon like this, got some diced garlic. Um, it's just, it's a really, really great combination. It's a little bit of um, tangy, it has a little bit of a savory, but yet the flavor of it is very amazing. So I just love the combination. But like I said, it's a very simple dish where, you know, you saw what we put in um, and, you know, the ingredients and um, the recipe will be posted as well. And, um, and you guys can definitely check that out. We're going to add a little bit of garlic. We're going to minimize some garlic. Tony, is there anything else we can uh, serve the chicken piccata with? Yes, you can. So chicken piccatas, uh, you know, we serve it with rice pilaf. We can do garden rice. Uh, we could do jasmine rice, uh, but typically um, it's, it's really depending on your preference, but um, a lot of people would like to serve it with some angel here, pasta, 
just because uh, it's a great combination with the flavor, with the pasta, it just worked very well. Um, but, you know, just really depending what your preference are, if you're craving for some, um, you know, something more like a mashed potato or rice or even uh, noodles. So I like noodles, but I also like uh, rice a little bit more than noodles. So, you know, um, Laura loves mashed potatoes. So because she's a guest today, we're making mashed potato. And plus she's the Iron Chef contest winner for the last two years. So, you know, it's hard to argue with that. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. I think I need to add a little more. Okay. I want them a little creamier. My sides are about done, Tony. Cool. So the final step for me right now is that I'm going to add a little bit of green onion just to kind of finish it off with some extra color. Uh, so I got about maybe just one stick of uh, green onion. I diced it up and it's gonna just, you don't wanna do it too early because you don't want the green onions to overcook. Um, you know, the green onions will more like varnish, the color, the presentation, and you know, with everything else added, there's a lot of good flavors already. So it's just more for color. So as you can see, everything's being reduced at this time and um, it's looking really good, really nice. So what Laura's gonna be doing, I'm gonna turn the fire off pretty much, uh, the chicken is ready. Laura's gonna plate it, and we'll show you the final product of today's uh, exhibition cooking. So she's gonna put the mashed potato, a couple of good size scoop on, and some vegetables. And we got these nice, wonderful nine inch uh, plates for our residents as well when we do these nice uh, presentation garnish and also uh, for our dinners. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna get a piece of this uh, chicken piccata and we're gonna put it just right on top of it. And just to give it a little extra garnish, we're gonna put a little bit of the, a slice of that lemon on it and never forget the sauce. Remember how my, one of my favorites is the sauce. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on top, a little bit more on top and just let it kind of just drizzle down like that. I love the piccata, so you wanna put a good amount on. All right, and then I got the second plate over here. Thank you, Laura. I'm gonna put the other piccata on top. I'm gonna put all that nice, nice stuff on top of it. And like I said, I love the juice, so just make sure you have enough juice in there. And then we got the other piece of the lemon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, chicken piccata. And um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy watching this and how we prepare this. Um, at this time, I want to thank uh, Kensington Place of Redwood City for uh, giving us this opportunity to uh, do an exhibition cooking here uh, in front of everybody wherever you guys are at, at home, at work, anywhere, and also our residents that's watching right now. Uh, we do, we got this on the menu for our residents uh, pretty much uh, every other uh, week. Um, so we do a variety of different um, entrees for our residents so that, you know, they get an opportunity to try a variety of different uh, entrees, you know, ranging from the chicken piccatas to roasted chickens, uh, to prime ribs, to uh, flank steak. So, you know, we do a variety of different ways. So, um, you know, check us out uh, on our website on Kensington Place. Uh, and then we're going to be also uh, posting this up on our website. Um, so you can uh, see the recipes on how to make this. Um, you know, we're very excited that we're going to be continuing to do this more often. So, um, you know, send us some emails uh, on when the next dates will be. Uh, we're going to be posting a lot more information on as well. So uh, feel free to take some pictures when you guys, uh, you know, use this recipe and make it. Take some pictures, send it back to us so we can see what you guys did. 
Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, yours is uh, as good as ours. Um, and I'm pretty sure it will. So, um, you know, it's not hard. These are very simple. You see how it's done. We we'll cook it right from the beginning. It's about 30 minute process, uh, but very simple. And we do this on a regular basis for all of our residents so they can enjoy these wonderful meals. Um, so thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Tony. Woo! Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun.